In this important lecture, we will provide a systematic overview of blood film analysis. And that overview will be used as the basis or template for our subsequent exploration of all the abnormal variants that we might see on a blood film. So let's get started. And the first question is, where do we look at blood cell morphology best? Well, because of the way that this film is spread, cells are not evenly distributed across the blood film. If you look too close to where the blood was dropped, the blood cells all sit on top of each other. They are tightly packed, in fact, too tightly packed to see clearly, and there is heavy background stain. On the other hand, if you look too far down towards the end of the film, the cells will be too spread out from each other and they may be broken up or smashed up. So the ideal area is what we call the Goldilocks zone. Not too close, not too far. It's a bit like being on a bus. You don't want to be up the front of the bus where there's a big crowd. You don't want to be up the back of the bus where there's almost nobody. You want to be in the middle where people are nearly touching each other. On a film, in this region, we can appreciate the red cell central pallor. And we can see both nuclear and cytoplasmic details of the white cells.